So all of the higher seeds won on Friday, so all the double-digit seeds are gone, meaning the big boys have made it to the Elite Eight. But it wasn't without some drama. Let's start with where the most drama came, North Carolina being pushed to overtime against Ohio. Jay, what did it say to you about the way the Tar Heels reacted without Kendall Marshall in the lineup? Well, Kendall Marshall is obviously very important to North Carolina. They had 24 turnovers in that game, and they gave up a lot of three-point shots, but they fought, and that was the main thing. They found a way to win the game, and Stillman White came in, uh, did, did an admirable job, had six assists, did not have a single turnover. Uh, North Carolina dominated inside in the paint, which is where they needed to, and found a way to win the game at the end. But 24 turnovers is not going to cut it uh, against Kansas. I, I agree with you, and you talked about without Kendall Marshall, other guys are going to have to step up and play well. Tyler Zell was absolutely fantastic down low on the post. He had 23 rebounds, 20 points. Fantastic catching the ball down low on a block. I thought Reggie Bullock, he had 10 rebounds at the two-guard position, but his ability to knock it down from three-point range allowed them to stay in the game, particularly in the second half. John Henson, all of them played extremely well. And Jay is right, 24 turnovers. They're going to have to cut down the turnovers, and I think Harrison Barnes is going to have to play a lot better on the offensive end, making and creating shots, giving North Carolina a chance to advance to the Final Four. The first overtime game of this tournament North Carolina comes out against it and eliminates the 13th seed in Ohio Kentucky avenges this December loss against Indiana 102 to 90 Wildcats did so with with Anthony Davis in foul trouble again at least in the first half what did you think of the way the Wildcats played particularly on offense going over 100 points I thought they played terrific they didn't settle for the three they put the ball on the floor and penetrated into the lane I was really impressed with the point guard of Marcus Teague I mean I thought he's played fantastic over the last three weeks he's been aggressive on the offensive end putting the ball getting to the lane taking care of the basketball he has seven assists only two turnovers and now teams are dropping off of him making him shoot that 15 foot jump shot he's taking it he's making it he's confident on the offensive end I thought he played fantastic in this game. He did, and, and when uh, when Anthony Davis was out of the game, Michael Kidd Gilchrist really took over. Uh, was getting to the rim, getting loose balls, rebounds. Uh, they dominated the backboard, and they dominated from the free throw line. That's where you can tell they were aggressive. So Kentucky going to the Elite Eight. They will meet Baylor when they get there. The Bears getting past Xavier, and then it will be Kansas and North Carolina, right in the backyard where Roy used to coach at Kansas. But perhaps. Perhaps maybe a little pressure on the Jayhawks come Sunday because if Kendall Marshall doesn't play, a lot of expectations on Kansas, and Kansas has barely escaped in its last two games in this tournament.